Kiki, how do you even upload a post to Hover? Hi, I'm Saving Kelsey, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a post to Hover using three different ways. You can use videos that you made on your TikTok. You can use videos saved on your computer. The last way is using clips you've already created from your accounts like Twitch, your PS5, your Switch, or your Xbox. At the very end of the video, we'll discuss the features that the Hover Editor has and how to use them. First, let me show you the layout of the upload section on Hover. On your Hover app, you'll press the white plus sign at the bottom of the screen and this will come up. You'll have the clip cloud that contains videos you uploaded from the website. The Twitch, Xbox, and PS5 slash Switch icons are where you can select clips located on those devices. And lastly, the device clip in the middle section is for videos that are on your phone. Now that we've discussed kind of where everything is, let's talk about uploading from TikTok. Now that my cat is comfortable, let's move forward. <laughs> um, there are two ways that you can upload from TikTok. The easiest way is to find your video on TikTok and save it to your phone. Then go to hover and go to device clips open and select the video that you want to upload. If you need to edit your clip by making it shorter, you can do that. Go to the end of this video and I go over the editor and hover. If you do it this way, if you save your TikTok video to your phone and upload it, you will have the classic TikTok watermark on there, which is completely fine, but it's not ideal. The preferred way is to remove the watermark. I'm sure there are different ways to remove the watermark, but I use the one that Hover has on their Discord. It is this website. I'm gonna put this website in the description below for you guys. It's called snaptick.app. To use this website, you'll copy the link of your TikTok rather than saving the video. You'll go to the website and paste the link in the column in the middle, and then click the download button. An ad will appear, but just ignore that. After a moment, your video will be saved onto your device without the TikTok watermark. Mine saves in its own download folder in my gallery, but it may be different on your device. From there, you simply repeat the steps above. Go to hover, press the plus sign, select device clips, and then open your gallery and select the video you want and attach the clip. If you have a video editing software on your computer that you wanna use, you can edit it on your computer and then go to Hover's website, hover.gg. And then after signing in, you'll be able to upload the video. When you upload it, it will save it to your cloud storage. This is called the Clip Cloud whenever you open up the app on your phone to upload something. Anything you upload on the website will be in your Clip Cloud and it will stay there until you remove it. Now, this is the important thing. When you upload a video to the Clip Cloud from their website, it does not automatically post. You have to pull up your phone, go press the plus sign, go to your Clip Cloud, select the video you want to upload. Right now, that's the only way to do it. You cannot upload directly from the website. You also can't schedule a video to be posted later, but that might be something in the future that they're working on. I know there have been mentions of it by other content creators, so we'll see. You can also upload clips from accounts that you have connected like your Twitch, your Xbox, your PS5 clips, or even your Switch clips. Now, do know that the clips from the PS5 and Switch come from your Twitter. So you will have to have your Twitter connected to get those clips. If you want to figure out how to do that, well, that's a whole nother video entirely. Hey, can you not? Mittens? Mittens. I'm trying to do a video. Really, Mittens, you're like the loudest eater ever and you gotta eat right now. So to upload from these, you have to make sure that your accounts are connected. You'll be able to see if the accounts are connected when you press the plus symbol and you go to the upload center. However, another way that you can verify that your accounts are connected are to go to your settings. And on that settings, it will say linked accounts. I do know for the Twitch clips, it uses the top 100 clips with the most views in the past 30 days. You simply go to this column, select your clip and click next. Editing with hover. After. 
Cat, I need you to, to just a moment, please. Editing your clips with Hover. After you have your clips selected, you'll be able to do two things. One is trim your clip and the other is crop it and make a horizontal video vertical. To trim your video, simply select the scissors icon. A bar will show up at the bottom with two white lines. Simply drag those lines to wherever you desire for your video to be trimmed. Select the square icon next to the scissors to make your video horizontal. Here's the catch. It will make you choose two areas. The first square is going to ask you to capture your webcam. You'll move that square to your desired area and you can press the edges to make it bigger or smaller. You'll click next and that will ask you to capture your gameplay. Move this to desired location and click next and it will show you a preview. If you don't like that, you can go back and change it. And if you do, you can move forward. This is really great for a quick, convenient way to edit your Twitch clips. However, it's not the best for people like me who do a lot of just chatting and uh, maybe I want to zoom in on my face rather than have my whole screen. And that's really not an option. You have to choose the two. Now, I'd rather have this ability than not have it though. So I don't wanna be like I'm ungrateful. I, it's just, you know, it is the beta version and there are ways that they can definitely improve. But I'm happy that they've come out with this. While I have you here in the middle of this, if you're liking this video, if you're even watching this video and you think that, hey, the time and energy that she put into this is worth it because I got something useful out of it, please hit the like button. And if you want more content, um, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe. That way you can be notified when I post another video. Stay tuned to the end though for some pro tips. Not that I'm a pro, but hey, maybe there, there are tips. After you have your clip selected and you're done editing your clip, you'll come to this page. Here, you're gonna write your caption. You can use hashtags if you want. You can use the at symbol to tag other creators. At this time, these don't really factor into the discoverability and where your content gets pushed. Hashtags have no relationship to the algorithm at this time. These hashtags are searchable. So if you wanna use it in your community, you're welcome to. Next, you're gonna select your video game. Not every game is on here, but there are a lot of games. If you can't find your game, select one that is kind of similar, or you can select just chatting if you want. Just chatting is, catches a broad range of clips. But why does this matter? Why do you have to select a game? Well, it's because the hover users, or they call them hoverants, they select what categories they want to follow, and your clip goes toward that category. So selecting your game absolutely influences who sees your content. The last part is select the challenge that you wanna do. If you don't know what this is, don't do it. Don't do it, okay? Uh, and it's not that it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you if you select a challenge. However, these challenges are hosted by Hover and the people at Hover watch all of these clips that are put in these challenges. And if you're not really wanting to apply to this challenge, you're really wasting the time with these people that are already working so hard to make this such a great platform. If you wanna to apply to the challenge and you're, the challenge is a jump scare and you're posting your jump scare, well, great, man. But if it's the jump scare challenge and you just post something that says, hey, I'm live, don't do it. Don't be the person, okay? Don't do it, just, just don't. If you wanna know more about how the challenges work, comment below, um, I can consider making a video about that in the future. All right guys, here are some tips for your hover posts. You have the option to have your video be seen in a landscape portion, or you can do a nine by 16. There are pros and cons to each of these. Most people who are using Hover are scrolling through and the 9x16 is really appeasing. A appeasing, is that a word, a pleasing? The, it looks good. <laughs> the 9x16 is easy to see and it'll pull up and you can just scroll through. The uh, landscape portion is visible whenever you turn your phone sideways. It does rotate 
So even when you upload a clip and it's showing the landscape portion small, if you rotate your phone, it will show it up bigger. Whenever anyone's watching videos on the website, it looks good in this portion. Whenever Hover hosts its challenges and they play your clip, it looks a lot better if it's in the landscape portion rather than the 9 by 16. If your landscape portion video is going up against a 9 by 16 video, the landscape one just looks a lot better for the challenges. So it's really about what your goals are with your videos. The next tip, keep your video short. The shorter your video is, the more odds that people are gonna watch it all the way through. And if your video gets watched all the way through, it's gonna be pushed out to more people and your content will be shared with more people. So you'll get more exposure. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll be more successful because it really comes down to the content that you're putting out, but it will be seen to more people. When you post your videos, get to the main point quick. You have about three seconds to capture people's attention before they're moving on and scrolling. So whatever that wow factor is that you think in your video is the thing that you want people to see, get to it at the beginning. I hope this helped you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of new to making these videos here and I just, Kitty Cat, come here. Okay, I know, I'm done with my video. I hope this helps. Um, I'm new to making videos here and I just want to do some things that, you know, help other people because I have had some people ask me about this. Um, if you, if it helped you, please leave a comment. Like, it means so much to me. I read all of my comments. Leave a comment, say, hey, I watched your video. It helped, or I wish I knew this or that. Can you help me with this? I'll, um, you know, let me know, guys. I want to hear from you. Hope you have a great day. Um, if you aren't using Hover, add my referral code hearts in the bottom. Use it. Thank you. It helps me a lot, and I appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a great day. Until next time, I'm Saving Kelsey. Bye.